Hello everybody, it's Allstar, and welcome back to another episode of Universal Electricity, and today the goal is to get some power armor and a power tool, and maybe some basic upgrades such as the uh, the battery stuff. Anyway, I got the portal here, I got 10 more nether, uh, not nether, uh, obsidian, and let's make sure I have my, oh we don't have it, ah, uh, did I put it away in my chest? I must have. Let's go check my chest and see if I have the, uh, the flint and steel. I also need to drop off some stuff too, because this is getting pretty full. Um... Oh, it's right here. Okay, I'm being retarded. Okay, uh, first thing first, so I'm just going to drop off some uh, materials here, stuff that I don't need. I keep putting stuff in the wrong chest here. Okay, we have 10 lapis. Um, it would be nice to get some more. I believe I might have some in the other chest. I'm not sure about that, though. Uh, so we'll have to take a look. Um, what else? Eggs. Ladders goes in a different chest. TNT will go in that other chest. Flint can go in here. Okay, and gravel, cobblestone, cobblestone, yeah, that's good. Did I not sort this one? I didn't. Okay, and TNT, pumpkins, chests. Actually, we'll take the chests because we're going to need those for the other place, and we'll just dump everything else in here. we got a lot of rails. That's going to help us out with uh, tunnel bores. Uh, I need to get a lot more rails, though, for the idea that I have in my head. Um, get my food ready. All right, I'm ready to go. Um, one thing that I'm going to need to do, and I already have it written down, is I'm going to need to connect these portals. So I, I got the coordinates of the overworld, of this portal right here, and I divided it by 8, and that's the position I need to be in the nether uh, for the portal. So I need to go to negative uh, 27 and 17, so that shouldn't be too far from the other portal. And if you remember correctly, these, uh, these connect to the other portal, so that kind of sucks. So I'm at 5430, so... It's a little bit of ways. Uh, we gotta go that way. Oof. Okay. And let's see here. This is decreasing this way. So yeah, we need to go that way. All right. So that's not too bad. We got kind of a path here. Um, we should be okay. Hopefully. 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 And this shouldn't be too bad of a uh, a rail uh, a trackway to build or whatever you want to call those railroads, minecart rail. <laughs> Because uh, I want to connect those, of course. And we're getting... Hello, bro. Um, please don't hurt us. Okay, so 17. I kind of just went over the threshold for that. I need to go this way. I need to go up here. So, let's see. Let me get my pickaxe out. We're going to need to build a little stairway here. Oops. Oh, man. Pickaxe just rips through everything. Okay, and we're negative. There we go. We need to be at negative 27. 27, so up here. Eh. I could just build into this, I guess, because that would be a lot smarter. And then we want to. Let's see, you're 27. I want to go this way. Oh, and I'm getting shot at. Uh, let me get some nether rack out here so we could build a little, fill this in. Okay, we're at 15, we need to go over two more blocks. And we're pretty much at the position where we need to build our portal. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to cut this, I'm going to clean out a nice room here for the portal. Wow, that stuff just rips through, I literally did that in seconds, so that was, uh, that was amazing, I love this pickaxe. Uh, and I, you know, last episode we figured out that it is a little faster than uh, diamond. You see, I have to, like, click at once if I want to remove one block. It's, like, stuff's scary. All right, there we go. So this is starting to look good. I don't want to hit these endermen here, because, I mean, not endermen, uh, pigmen here, because they're going to kick my ass. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, once we get these connected, I'll start mining, and I'm going to try to get myself uh, some lapis, enough for a tinker table. I'm going to try to get myself three emeralds um, or more. The more I have, the better, but three is the maximum I want from now, so I can get some upgrades as well as that tinker table. And another thing I need to get my hands on is uh, a metallurgic infuser because uh, I can produce more steel. Uh, that would be better for uh, us in the long run. And I think we're almost done with this room. This is going to look nice. Uh, let's just fill this in up here. All right, cool. Oh, and we got a little hole up here as well. We should fill this in. 
You guys are going to get real annoying. I don't know why they always like to stand around me, but it's starting to really you know, get to me. And I just made another fucking hole. This pickaxe. This back pickaxe is cool, but it gets a little annoying. Alright, so we need to go to 27. 27 right there. And we need to go to 17. So 17 is right here. Okay, we'll just start building this. And if you don't fucking move, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking kick your ass. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm. I should have built this on the ground. I'm going to do that, actually. So I'm going to cut this real quick and mine this up and just build the portal. So, yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys. Let's see what happens. We might get some pigment in the world because there's just so many around here. Okay, we're going to go in now, and we're going to see if this lines up with the portal in front of my house. Because that is exactly what I need. Ooh, this looks promising. Yeah. All right, we connected the portals. So now it shouldn't be too hard to get uh, to the extreme hills biome. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to take a look at that. We might have to use some of those rails that we got from the uh, from the uh, abandoned mine shaft because rails are harder to get now. So if we go this way, we can find our way back to the other portal, which is right there. So that's not even that far. That is pretty cool. We'll be able to build this like nothing. Um... Now we just need to test it out and see if this actually connects to the extreme hills. And it should. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be a little upset. I might have to tinker with this a little bit more. But it should work. If it doesn't, that's that's crazy. That's nonsense. That is just nonsense. All right, here we go. I'm going to go in here now. All right, moment of truth. Oh, yeah, we did it. We're here, guys. We're in the Extreme Hills biome. This is perfect. This is what I wanted. All right, so now we can start mining. Um, I'm going to need to get myself, let's see, exactly 36 lapis. Um, I have 10 back at the house, so we're just going to go off that number. I might have some in that mine, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get uh, 26 uh, lapis. And you remember this right here from last episode. I dug out a shaft going down to diamonds. Pretty cool. And I'm probably going to cut this now, and I'm going to try to get what I said I was going to get. 36 lapis and 3 emeralds. That's pretty much all I need right now. And yeah, I'm going to get to work. Oh yeah, guys, we found our first emerald. So let's grab this real quick. Now, I believe emeralds, they only spawn in uh, chunks of one. I can actually tell you that that's actually true because I looked at the code for the Extreme Hills biome. Uh, this is the only ore that actually spawns, or th that is used inside the uh, b the biome gen base class to actually spawn it in. For those who know modding, go check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, probably said that in the past before, but <laughs> I just I was impressed by it. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna keep working. We got two more to go. Oh my god, you guys won't believe it. <laughs> Found another freaking abandoned mine shaft. Oh man, I don't have any wood on me. What? Ah. We have this lovely source of lava light. Well, that is amazing. I can't believe I found this. Another abandoned mine shaft. That means there's more rails for me. Ah, <sighs> amazing. I need to get some more wood, though. Um, that won't be too hard to do because I'm really close to my house. I might even have some up there. I could just go to the uh, the biome over here and just grab some pine tree wood. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. That was pretty cool. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back at my house. I grabbed some of the wood I had left over in my chest. And I must have put it in there at the beginning of the episode because it's spruce wood. And I grabbed some wool so I can make a bed. Um, I also grabbed the uh, three bronze out of my uh, chest so I can make another pickaxe if I need to. And that's pretty much all I'm here for. So yeah, I'm going to head back now and uh, just set up a little base there so I don't have to worry about uh, nighttime anymore. <laughs> Look at what I found. I found diamonds down here. Um, I'm at level four, by the way, guys. Uh <laughs> in this little pond I found, and I just came across these diamonds, which is pretty cool, and I just got poisoned. That's great. I love getting poisoned. Anyway, yep, just want to show you guys that I found some diamonds. I can't get up. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, yeah, emeralds. Perfect. All right. Now, um, all I really need is the lapis. Um, I don't know how much I have. I know I have that 10. Hopefully I don't need 26. That'd be kind of terrible. I just Maybe I just need to find one vein. I think that'll give me enough for 26 or maybe close enough. So maybe like two veins of lapis. Um, I am down in this uh, this abandoned mine shaft trying to find some stuff. So far, just those diamonds and those two emeralds. Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of work. Well, 
I'll sh I'll resume it when I find anything else interesting. All right, guys, I found some lapis. Let's see how much we'll get out of these four I just got. That was two, but 18. So now I have 28. So that's not enough yet. Um, that means I need eight more. I believe that's eight more. Let's see, nine, 18, 36. Yeah, I need eight more lapis. So yeah, I need to find at least one more vein of lapis so that I can finish this and move on with my life. Oh, shit, that scared me. Yep, so yeah, I'm just down in these caves. I found this really nice cave system connected to the uh, the abandoned mine shaft. There's just so many ores to mine up, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I'm trying to grab all that I can right now. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back in the old cave, and I found that I had another 11 um, lapis down here. So that means I have 21 in my in my inventory right now. That's the 10 app for my house, too. So I have 18, I believe it's 18, at my uh, other base. So that means I have 39 lapis, which is enough to make a tinker table. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the uh, Extreme Hills biome. We need to come up with a name for that place because saying the Extreme Hills biome is kind of crappy. Um, maybe you guys have some ideas. I don't know. You can leave that in the comments if you want for some cool names for the Extreme Hills. Anyway, um, I'm going to go back there and I'm going to grab the lapis and maybe some materials. Try to fill up my inventory as much as possible. And I'll show you guys what I've collected so far. I believe I've gotten four emeralds, which is pretty cool. And we are in the main room here. Okay, let's run back. It's actually not that far to run. I don't even think I have to build a uh, oh a mine shaft. It would be nice to have a mine shaft though, because um, not a mine shaft, not a mine shaft, a mine cart rail, um, because some ghasts have been bothering me lately. Those assholes. Anyway. Um, what I was saying was, I'll show you what I have there, and then uh, we'll probably cut it and, until I'm back at my house, and we'll make a uh, metallurgic infuser, and I think the other one I want to make is a smelting factory, yeah. And then I'm going to make some upgrades, because I'm going to want to put those in my enrichment chamber, my uh, metallurgic infuser, and my smelting factory, so they'll be at their top speed. And then um, I'll use the other emerald for um, the tinker table, so here we go. That's 39, that's perfect, and uh, we'll just try to fill this in as much as possible. We'll grab the more important stuff like this, and this, and this, maybe that. We might be able to grab all this stuff. Hmm. We could leave some stuff here. Um, um, coal is not that important. I think that's good. I think we can grab everything out of this chest that was resourced. Uh, these are just garbage supplies, stuff I could build with later if I wanted to. Okay, guys, and that's my bed I placed so that I can sleep here. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this now, and I'll meet you back at the house, and we'll craft some machines. Ooh, that was terrible. I couldn't run through the nether. I literally had, like, this this much hunger in the nether, and I was trying to get out of there, and it was terrible because I was getting shot at and stuff. Alright guys, so it looks like we're not going to be able to cram everything into this chest anymore, which kind of sucks. So we're going to have to do some inventory things, uh, some chest things I should say. Um, oops, I hate when it does that. Uh, we're going to need these, so let's just keep everything in here. Okay, uh, five diamonds, nice. I might have some more at the other place, but this chest is getting pretty full. We were able to cram everything in here too, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so the first thing we want to make is a metallurgic infuser. Actually, let's make the smelting factory first. So the smelting factory, there's three types, if you remembered uh, from the last season. Uh, there's the basic smelting factory, which is what I'm going to make first, and these are the upgrades, pretty much. So we're going to look at this, and we're going to need to make some of these blocks here. So we're going to need some basic circuits, some gold dust, enriched alloys, and some steel blocks. So let's make some steel. Um, do you remember how to make steel? We grab some of this uh, steel, um, iron and some coal. We're going to head over to the, uh, actually, let's grab some other stuff first. Um, let's see, a steel block is a nine, so we'll be fine with that. To get the enriched alloys, we need iron and redstone, so let's grab some redstone. We'll grab a stack. Um, we're going to need to make some of these basic circuits, which requires redstone and bronze. So... Let's make some bronze, so we're going to grab some of this as well, some tin and 
and copper. We'll even use up this right here to make one of the circuits. Um, and then we need to get um, some wires. So to get wire, we're going to need to grab our remaining wire and some wool so we can make some installation. Also, we're going to need to grab some copper. So we already got some copper. Good. Okay, and the next thing we're going to need to get is some gold. So let's grab some gold. And we have one gold here, but we should have grabbed... Oh, here it is. Okay. We'll just grab a half stack for now. We don't really need that much. Okay, so yeah. Let's head into the main room and let's get crafting. So we're going to need to uh, make the steel. So uh, we need nine steel, so let's do that real quick. Uh, we might need to go make some more, actually. Oh, oh, I'm wrong. I did it wrong. So let's see, nine, and then we take some of this... Uh, coal here oh wait am i doing this wrong what's going on here I, I haven't made this for a while i guess steel dust ah okay yeah um i'm gonna need to grab some coal real quick so actually before i craft this let's go grab a stack i didn't think about this i thought i had enough coal obviously not okay so here we go we're gonna need to head over to the uh the mine over there and grab some of my coal there i have like eight stacks over there so Definitely want to do that before we move on to anything else after this. So here we go. We need nine. The fastest way to do this is that way. And then just go like that. Okay. So that will give us en enough steel. Um, and we're going to throw that in here and smelt it. And uh, let's make one of the plates right now for our circuits. Another thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to head on over to this thing and start... Uh, processing some copper. We have some tin now. Let's smelt that up. We're going to need that for some bronze. So we make some bronze plates. We're going to need 12 more bronze uh, so we can make the three other plates. So let's throw this in here and start smelting it. Um, oops, I put redstone on top of there. That, no. <laughs> to stop. Okay. And now let's head back to the crafting recipe for the smelting factory and take a look at what else we need to make here. Okay, we need to get some gold dust. Okay, that's Let's make these first. Okay, let's make some enriched alloys. Okay. And now we need to see how that's doing. All right, let's check this out. Uh, we're going to need to get, uh, let's see, there's four wires for each. So we need four wires for each. That is 16 wires. So to get 16 wires, we need to, because if we look at the wire recipe here, we get uh, we get six. So... We need um, we need 16, so we need to do that three times. So that means we need 12 copper, 12 copper. So yeah, we need to let this keep going for a while. Um, I'm gonna do some cutting here, and I'm gonna get some of the resources together because it looks like this is gonna take some time. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, let's get started here. So I got a lot of the resources together. There's still uh, some bronze cooking up, so let's make the uh, steel block first, and then what we need to do is we need to take a look at this. Recipe again. All right, we need to make some basic circuits. Let's do that. Uh, to make a basic circuit, all you really have to do is this. So let's set that up right there. We need some for the last one. And then we need to put some of this in as well. So there we go. We got some basic circuits. And okay, let's see. We only need one more circuit. So let's grab the remaining bronze. Let's make this into a bronze plate. And then let's make this into a circuit. There we go. And now we're just going to set up the circuits on the sides, steel block in the center, gold dust on the sides, and the enriched alloys on the top and bottom. And now we have a basic smelting factory. And I'm going to throw this down right here. And now we have ourselves a factory. So I'm going to lay down and sleep real quick. And then we're going to look at the upgrades here so we can speed up the enrichment factory, or the enrichment chamber, I should say, and the smelting factory. And uh, let's see. To make an upgrade, we need to... Of course, have those emeralds. Uh, so the speed upgrade. Oh, they changed it. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um, I guess that was a waste of time. Anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh, man. That, I went through all that just to get those. Uh, well, I needed emeralds anyway for a tinker table. So, yeah. And if you guys knew about that, you guys should have told me that. That, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so much. Okay, so let's grab some platinum. Well, that makes my life a little easier, I guess. Um, let's see. 
And we have iron. We have redstone. We're good. Okay. So I'm going to make two of these bad boys. So we're going to need to get four of these enriched alloys, I believe. Yep. Four enriched alloys. So let's do that real quick. And this time, I promise I won't make compasses. <laughs> that was terrible. I, I can't believe I made compasses. I mean, it's pretty much the inverted of the, uh, inverted recipe of that. But anyway, uh, we got some of this. Okay, uh, I think we have enough to make one. Yeah, we do. Look at that. Or two, actually. Hmm. All right, so we're going to make two real quick. Wow, this is a lot easier. Bam. All right, we got speed upgrades. Let's throw these bad boys into these uh, machines, and we'll be able to process all of our ores very quickly. And wait a second. Oh, they changed it, didn't they? Oh, it uses... Oh, I like that! Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, my God! You can... Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm really happy about this. You can change the speed. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Okay, 2x now. And I bet you money if I dump another one in there, it will go even faster. Oh, man, that's amazing. Okay, let's take a look at this. I mean, it's not going super fast like it was, but that... Oh, we're going to make a lot of these. Okay. Um... Lag. <laughs> Why is it lagging? This is the good stuff now. Let me cut this real quick and take a look at my fraps and see what's going on. Okay, guys, I just had to leave my world real quick and load it back up. Everything's good now. I don't know what was causing that lag, but that this is amazing. I'm so happy this worked. Um, one thing I want to do real quick is I need to grab some. Um, I need to grab some more iron so we can make some more of these speed upgrades. I want to see how much we can max these bad boys out. Um, too. So let's see. Let's grab some iron ore. And we're going to need to grab definitely some more redstone. Uh, and we're going to sort this. We're going to make some more speed upgrades because that's amazing. Now, there is these energy upgrades. I don't know what they do exactly. Maybe they use less energy. Um, I don't want to say that, though. Um, but that sounds like something that would uh, happen if you were to uh, upgrade the energy on these things. Uh, this is cool, though. We're, getting, we're going to be able to process all my ores. And... Wow, I'm, this is really cool. I'm so happy they added that. I was even talking about it last season. I was saying, man, they should really make it so that you can add more speed to these things. Because they were fast, but I wish they were faster. Maybe they, they are the same speed, but you have to work your way up to it now. But anyway, I'm going to throw this iron in here, and I'm going to start processing it. Uh, I'm going to cut this, just get tons of iron ingots, and we'll be able to make a ton of... Uh, Speed upgrades. We're also going to want to make um, a lot of these osmium uh, stuff. We have a lot of glass, so we don't really need to worry about that. And uh, I believe we can... Um, I don't know if this is possible. Let's take a look, though. Uh, if we were to look at sand... We, yep, okay, we can. We, if we get a crusher, we can actually turn this into sand, and we can turn the sand into glass using the, sm uh, using the smelting factory. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to get to work. Okay, guys, I am back, and I believe we have enough to make 12 of these speed upgrades, so we're going to see how, how crazy we can make these machines. I wonder what the limit is on it. Uh, so let's see here. If we go to speed, I just need to remember the recipe here. So, speed upgrade. Okay. So, yeah, I should have everything here. So we're going to make, um, we're going to need 24 of these uh, enriched alloys because we're going to make 12. So let's see here. Let's get, that's that. Okay, that's six right there we need six more so let's just uh do this actually and just dump six in there like so there we go we got 12 now and then we're gonna put that in there we're gonna dump one right there all right and in the middle we'll put the dust actually i did this wrong didn't i yeah we're gonna need 24 i made 12 actually never mind okay let's see we need to get more of those uh of those uh what are they called? Enriched alloys. So 12. Okay. Breadstone in. Like so. We're going to put two, 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 two. All right. All right. There we go. Now we should be able to make some more of these. And in the middle goes the osmium. Bam. All right. We have freaking 12 upgrades. They don't stack in. They stack in eight. So we can't really put those together. So let's see what happens here. We're going to put one in here. One in here. Oh, it's night time, so that means the uh, energy is not going to work. So we need to go to sleep real quick. I wonder why that is, because I'll have, I'll have battery power in my battery. But when it's night time, it will stop. I don't know why it does that. It's weird. Um, so now it's going three times as fast. I'm going to put three in here. 
And I'm going to put three in here. We'll see if this can keep going. Alright, so it's up to six now. That's amazing. Uh, let's put two in here. And two in here. Hmm. I wonder what the limit is on here. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, that's amazing, though. This is really cool. So, the speed is eight times faster now. So, if I was to, you know, throw in this gold, you could see that it's going a lot faster. And if we were to throw in some dust, we could smelt it a lot faster as well. Hmm. All right, cool. So, that's fun. I like the idea that you can now you know keep adding to it before it was just like you can throw it in once and that was all you could do uh, this is really cool you can work towards something now uh, but yeah I want to make more of these let's take a look at the energy upgrade on these things uh, energy you can it's gold dust okay so yeah it's pretty much the same but with gold um, I wonder what this does though uh, I'm gonna have to cut this real quick I'm gonna go take a look at the wiki and read about it cuz I'm not sure what it does I know it, I, my guess is that it lowers how much energy you use so yeah i'll be back okay guys so i figured out what this does it actually increases the storage capacity of your uh of your uh block which isn't too important for me um not right now anyway um so i'm not going to worry too much about that right now i'll just focus on getting some speed upgrades one thing i want to get before i get the uh the metallurgic infuser is a crusher and the crusher will allow me to get uh sand from cobblestone which is something i want now i could just go to the desert and dig stuff up but i would rather use some of my cobble and you know you know crush it into sand so we're going to need some lava buckets which is kind of painful um basic circuits a steel block okay maybe i should get the metallurgic infuser first because then i can get the steel process out of the way right now it's kind of like Ugh, with that whole situation so Metallurgic infuser is this block right here. We can also do some energy upgrades on that. So we need some iron, some furnaces, an enriched alloy, and some basic circuits. Um, so yeah, let's make some basic circuits real quick. Um, we are going to need to throw in some tin. And we'll process that. And we will grab some copper from the back. I should already have some ingots, so let's use that up actually. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of ingots. Let's just let's just grab a stack here. Um, I'm going to start throwing my ingots in this chest if you haven't noticed. So, yeah, there we go. And we're going to need some furnaces. So let's grab some cobble. We'll use this cobble right here. Okay, so furnaces. Okay, two furnaces, some iron ingots, basic circuits, which require this. We got that. Okay, do we have redstone? We have a little bit of redstone. So let's grab a little bit more. Okay, and... We have enough copper. We have um, insulated that. We have wool. Perfect. Okay, I think we have everything. Yeah, we have everything. Okay, let's head back to the main room now, and let's take a look at how the, uh, the tent's doing. We should be able to throw that into the... Uh, yep, throw this into the uh, basic smelting factory and get ourselves um, some tin here. And then we're going to... Uh, take this and we're going to make some we're going to need 16 bronze so we're going to make 16 dust okay uh, I did it wrong again so 16 so let's take this and make 16 bronze dust all right cool and then we're gonna throw that into the smelting factory here look at that it's already done that's a that's amazing I love this and then we'll be able to get our bronze plates for our uh, circuits. And looks like we're going to... Yeah, okay. Actually, we didn't need 16. We only needed uh, 8. Okay, that's not a big deal. Let's make the... Um, let's make the bronze plates real quick. I don't know what that was. That was kind of spasming out in there. That was kind of weird. All right, there we go. We got some of these. Um, we're going to need some of these wires. I keep making them like it's icy too, but it's not. All right. We'll throw that in there. Look, that's a perfect amount of copper wires for the, uh, really, do I? Oh, that's right. I keep thinking that I have to, uh, think, I keep thinking it's wool, but it's not. You have to craft it like that. Okay, there we go. Bronze plates, this, and redstone. Perfect. Okay, let's make these. Okay, two. Some redstone. Okay, cool. And then... 
we need to make an enriched alloy. So let's, we should have kept that iron with me. I can't believe I threw it in there. I'm just so excited, you know, about those speed upgrades. That really made my day for some reason. I was just like, what? Really? Because that was like something I was wanting. I wonder if you've seen my video. Probably not, because I'm not really a big YouTuber, but that'd be cool if he did. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's make those uh, furnaces. All right, cool. And then we will craft these together, I believe. Iron. Okay, cool. Uh, that's 10. Iron. And now we have our metallurgic infuser, and we'll be able to produce steel and bronze a lot quicker and a lot better. Um, let's use some of these insulated wires here and spread the power over. And throw this down. All right, cool. Look at that. And we should make some speed upgrades also. I'm going to cut this real quick and check how much, uh, how much time we have left. <laughs> Look at that sheep. He's like, fuck this. There's wolves after me. <laughs> fuck you, Billy. Fuck you, Billy. Get over there, Billy. The wolves want you. The wolves want you. Get, get over there. Get over there. Oh, no. Damn it. That's hilarious, though. That was that made my day right there. Okay, guys. I'm out here. I just got enough sand to get some more speed upgrades. Uh, we are almost out of time, so I'm actually going to cut this here. Or not here, but uh, I'm going to end it here after I make my speed upgrades for the Metallurgic Confuser. Uh, next episode, we will actually make the Power Suit and get started with that. I'll probably end this episode making the Tinker Table, and I'll probably plop it down somewhere around here. Probably probably my bedroom or something. We'll see. Uh, let's smelt this stuff up, and let's make some more glass. We're going to need it. Uh, and we're going to need to make 16 of these enriched alloys, so let's do that real quick. We're going to need to go get some more, uh, oh, I'm making compasses. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I was about to make compasses. Ah, oh, man, I feel retarded sometimes. All right, let's, let's see. 16. And we'll grab some of this right here, and we'll just spread it around. Look at that. That was perfect. 16 of these. Okay, cool. We got the glass. We got the osmium. Let's make the upgrades now. All right. I think I remember how to make the upgrades. Let's take a look. Okay, like that. Uh, right here, and like that, and now we have upgrades, sweet, okay, and we're just going to dump these all into here so that we can upgrade it all the way, so actually, um, oops, that's actually going to be one level higher than the other ones, but that's okay, this will be nine, um, that's not a big deal though, that is not a big deal at all, so yeah, we have upgraded machines. Uh, I still want to find out what the maximum is on that. Next episode, we'll produce a lot of steel because we're going to need it for the power suit. Let's take a look at that. I'll show you right now. You can see that there's a lot of steel plates involved in each one of these. Yeah, so we're going to need to we're going to need to produce a lot of that stuff there. And just to finish this off, we're going to actually not make it because I don't have the time. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you bros in the next episode. Peace out.